Thank you for joining me on this episode of A Highway Spec. My name is Trent. If this is your first time here, thank you for watching. And today we are going to build out an AMG EQE sedan. Now this is AMG's first time getting behind an all electric sedan that is more run of the mill based on the electric version of the E-Class sedan. And it offers 617 horsepower with a temporary boost up to 677 horsepower, allowing it to go zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds, which is pretty respectable for the size of the vehicle it is. This vehicle does start at $106,900, but we're gonna go ahead and build one out and see how I would personally spec it. And you can let me know in the comments how you would build it. So first and foremost, we do have to pick a trim level the exclusive or the pinnacle trim level. And basically the pinnacle trim gets you extra USB-C ports, four zone climate control, and the air balance cabin air filter purification system. But it does get the cool digital LED headlights. And because of some of the other things I want to add to this vehicle, we do have to go with the pinnacle trim. First and foremost, we have to pick a color and we're gonna go straight to the matte color just to see what it looks like. Honestly, I don't think it pulls it off very well, especially with all the silver trim around the windows and everywhere else on the vehicle. So we're going to try a different color. This twilight blue actually looks really nice. Selenite gray actually looks great on all Mercedes models. But to add a little bit of flavor to an otherwise maybe not so flavorful electric vehicle, we're going to go with the manufacturer Patagonia Red. That does add $1,750 to the price of the vehicle, but that is a minuscule amount considering it started at over $109,000. we are going to go ahead and move to the interior. All right, this is a very interesting interior. You've got microfiber in the center of the seats and kind of a wood dash. So for me personally, being a Mercedes, I want to have the leather interior, and apparently that does get us the ventilated front seats as well. So this is the black and sable brown AMG Napa leather, and the other Napa leather option gets you black and space gray, which really all you're getting the gray is here up on the door sill. It doesn't really add much color to it. But this gray blue interior, this one I like. But because I didn't know this interior was an option, don't think it works so well with our exterior color options. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. But oddly enough, it is not available with the blue exterior. Every time I try to put the blue exterior, it says I have to get rid of the gray and blue interior. So we're gonna go ahead with this manufacturer Alpine Gray, which I do think looks really nice. And to give it a little bit more of a futuristic look, you have this Anthracite 3D Relief Optic, is what it calls it, for the dash panel treatment and I think that actually looks really nice. We are going to add the winter package, adding the heated rear seats, heated windshield, and heated windshield wipers. And of course, it isn't a high-end Mercedes without massaging seats. So the next thing we have to do is go to the options. Like I said earlier, it does come with the air balance package that gives you the ionization, the fragrance, and the purification options. And we already get the heated steering wheel standard, which is nice. But we can still add the energizing air control plus with HEPA filtration because the air air purification system isn't enough. The energizing comfort only adds $200, and I quote here, it coordinates climate control, ambient lighting, sound cabin, fragrance, plus front seat massage, heating, and ventilation. So it combines all those aspects together to make you the most comfortable that you could be. That sounds relaxing. And then with any real electric vehicle, you get a lot of road noise because there is no motor noise. So we are going to add the acoustic comfort package for another $1,100. Now we could add the AMG carbon ceramic front brakes. However, electric vehicles in general don't go through brakes that much in regular driving. And personally, I'm not going to be throwing this around track. As much as I would like to add a pop of color with the red brake calipers, I really don't think it works with the interior option, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that. And that brings us to our total. Starting out at $109,100, we picked the manufacturer Alpine Gray, the standard 20-inch AMG wheels, the gray and blue AMG Napa leather, with the unique dash trim option, the winter package, ventilated front seats, massaging seats, energizing comfort, the extra HIPAA filtration, and the acoustic comfort package, bringing us to a total of $118,330, which is a lot of money. However, for throwing all the options at an A, AMG vehicle, this honestly isn't that bad. But the question remains, what did you think of my build? What would you do differently? So make sure to drop a comment below and let me know. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing and I will catch you on the next one.